Hi guys, Mr. Ruffle Waffles here. Straightforward, no nonsense upgrade guide for the fire bow. Let's go. You obviously need the regular bow, which you obtain by filling the dragon heads. Once you've got it, come to the clock tower and climb the stairs. At the top, you can see the back of the clock. Shoot the wall, and out of the wall will drop an arrow. Pick it up and you can move on with the steps. Go to the rocket launch pad. Periodically in your game, the rocket will perform a test burn. Your goal here is to exit the interior of the building just after the rocket has finished its burn, turn to your right, and shoot this rock on top of the building. You have a limited time to do it. If you mess up, you'll have to wait until the next rocket burn. But if you succeed, you'll see this bad boy flying through the sky. If you're struggling with this step, I recommend you get as close to the doors as possible while they are shut so that when they begin to open, you can zip straight out of there, aim at the rock, and shoot exactly as I shoot in this gameplay. You are aiming for the little glowing part of the rock at the top. If you hit the base, there's a good chance it's not going to do anything. So aim exactly as I aim here, and if you're still having issues, maybe try just charging one shot and being as precise as you can as if you are not under any time constraints, and you'll eventually get better and better at it so that you can do it really easily in the allotted time period. The next step can be a little finicky, so I recommend in your game, when everyone is choosing which bow they're going to upgrade, I recommend that the host is the one that upgrades the fire bow. You can switch bows later, that's fine, but for now, let the host do this because otherwise it's just adding unnecessary struggle to the step. There are three sets of rings around the map. The first is on the slope leading up to double tap. The second is just next to one of the Pack-A-Punch part locations on the roof. And the third is also on the roof next to one of the Wonderfizz spawns. Your job is to shoot the rings while flying through the air having just used a Wonder Sphere. I'm showing you the Wonder Sphere pairings now so you can get an idea of which ring is best to use with which sphere. It will undoubtedly take a couple of attempts unless you're a god, so don't worry and don't get frustrated if you have to go through a couple of rounds to make sure this gets done. A couple of tips for this. A. Ask your teammates to buy the Wonder Sphere for you so you don't have to worry about that and you can focus on aiming yourself up inside the sphere. B. Have another teammate standing on or near the ring so that you have a point of reference when you're inside the sphere and you know which direction you need to be looking in once you have launched. And C. Stay calm. It's going to be okay. I'm going to show you some live gameplay from me completing it with a teammate now. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, he got it. He got it. Nice, it nice. Out. That's all you gotta do. Just try and try and try again until you succeed. Here is me going from the rocket launch pad and trying to do that one. As you can see, didn't quite work out in that attempt, but eventually we got it. And once you get it, once you actually hit it, it will stay lit up. Even when you're running around on the floor, the ring will still be lit. The use for these lit up rings is very similar to the lightning bow step. You need to stand inside the ring and kill zombies that are reasonably close to the ring. If you do this, their souls will float to the ring and charge it up. A good 10 zombies or so should fill up each ring and you'll be ready to move on. Go to the clock tower and turn the exposed gear in the back of the clock. It will spin around and reveal a symbol. Take a look at this symbol and note it down. The symbols will all be cuneiform just like the sword symbols on Shadows of Evil. They correspond to specific fireplaces around the map. To make sure nobody gets confused here, I've gone to the lengths of showing you the locations specifically of each individual fireplace. There is a lot of misinformation online about this step right now, so listen carefully to what I say because it's not as a lot of other people are describing. Match the clock tower symbol that you have in your game to one of the fireplace symbols that I've just shown in this video. That is how you know which fireplace you need to set on fire. We're going to set the fireplace on fire in a very specific manner. You need to go to the rings that correspond to your fireplace. They'll be lit up and you need to stand inside them. The example footage here is for the fireplace in Samantha's room and the lit up ring is on the slope outside Double Tap. Stand inside your ring such that there is a glow on your screen. You'll see it as a sort of vignette around the edges and shoot in the direction of your fireplace. What's going to happen here is we're going to chain locations where the arrow lands. What that means is that as you can see, I shoot, 
the arrow lands in the lower courtyard, and I then have to shoot another arrow from the place where the first arrow landed. The game shows you exactly where that was by spawning this little rock. You need to stand close enough to the rock that you still see the glow on your screen, and you can only take your next shot if that glow is present. You get four shots total. Three of them will allow you to move slowly but surely towards your fireplace, and the final shot will allow you to hit the fireplace itself. You can do it in fewer shots, but that, I believe, is the limit for how many you get total. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to stay as far away from the rock as possible just to give myself a better angle while still having that orange glow around my screen. Boom, fireplace hit, and voila, you not only get a max ammo, but if you hold square, you'll also see some arrows appear in there. Head back to the roof and you will see this sun ball of energy, this thing, floating in the sky. You do not need to kill any zombies, you don't need to do anything other than hold square, or X on Xbox, on the sun itself. It will float into the air, as you can see here, it looks pretty damn awesome, I'm not gonna lie, this was really, really cool to do in game, and once you've done that, you'll see this arrow drop down for you to pick up. Go back downstairs to the Undercroft. You need to place your arrow on the box that corresponds to your bow. Then, just like all the other bows, you have to feed the box souls by killing zombies near to it. You have to be the one that kills the zombies. Other people cannot fill your box for you, so get killing, and after I'd say about 20 zombies or so, it will be complete. Once it's finished absorbing souls, it will look like this. Hold square and watch the magic happen. It will fly into the air, there'll be a beam of something or other, ethereal energy, ethereal energy, whatever you want to call it, and your bow will spawn in front of you. Congratulations, you've upgraded the fire bow, and it wasn't really that bad, was it? I've been Mr. Ruffle Waffles, thank you so much for watching this video, smash the like button, and most importantly, enjoy your new bow. This thing is beast! I want to give a big thank you to my buddy Tyler, who I was playing with in this game, and who pretty much walked me through all of this, because I was asleep last night and had no idea that this got solved, so great job, sir. Thank you very much. I massively appreciate your help. I think that wraps everything up. So, hopefully you've enjoyed this very straightforward fire bow upgrade guide. No fluff, just info for all of you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.